Welcome back to the show, guys. Uh, we always like to start off by giving a thanks to the sponsors, the companies who make this uh, podcast possible. And as always, we want to start off with our good friends over at Yellow Jacket. Guys, more than 70 years ago, Jack Ritchie set a goal for Ritchie Engineering to become the standard by which all other HVAC hoses are measured. In the last seven decades, the Yellow Jacket brand has not only become the standard in hoses, tools, Refrigeration gauges, manifolds, HVAC vacuum pumps, and refrigerant recovery machines, it's become legendary. And how have they done it? Through an unwavering commitment to excellence. It's the single most important attribute in the longevity of the company. While other companies sold out and sent work overseas or lessened quality, the relentlessness and commitment of their people has led to 70 years of best-in-class products, first-class customer service, and innovations to make the contractor's job easier worldwide. That's us, guys. So join them in the next 70 years as they commit to changing the standard once again. Guys, remember Yellow Jacket, 70 years of expertise built into every tool. And then... Last but not least, we're going to talk about uh, Live Bearded. So all my bearded brothers out there, guys, if you're looking for a good product that's not going to break the bank, it's an all-natural product, um, you know, you get that itchiness, you know, you feel like you're scratching your ass and, you, you know, your face is itchy. Guys, Live Bearded makes really good products. Um, they have an oil that is going to go, you know, go and it's going to treat that skin under your beard, make it nice and soft. It's going to promote beard growth. Um, I actually have, for all of the uh, people watching the video right now, I actually have uh, a, a set, a kit to give away. So I'm, I'm going to make this quick, but um, you get a thing where it's beard oil. Uh, this is the American scent, which it's, it's awesome. It's very good. It feels good. Um, there is a wash, wash, shut up, Kelly. Um, <laughs> that is really good. You can use it on your face, your hair. Uh, it's all natural. It's really good stuff. There's not a bunch of harmful chemicals in this stuff. And then there's also a butter, which um, it's kind of a harder consistency, but it's good to like style it so you don't get those, you know, things flying away. Uh, but they're a good company. So uh, if you guys go to their website, livebearded.com, and you put in HVAC Uncensored at checkout, you're going to get a 10% off uh, just for being associated with us. So, guys, if you're looking for those products, go over to livebearded.com and uh, use the discount HVAC Uncensored and get 10% off. And, guys, remember, uh, and their, what they say, their trade line is live better, do better, live bearded. <laughs> I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Guys, God bless the United States. Tonight we are recording, and it is the 18th anniversary of September 11th. I, I want to give my heart and prayers to all those people who lost their life that day, the people in the towers, the people, the first responders, uh, the men and women who went to war to fight back, to retaliate against those cowards who did that that day. Uh, and there's people that took the fight to them and didn't make it home. So I want to, we want to send our hearts and prayers to all of them that they will never, ever be forgotten for the sacrifices they made for all of us. Um, we thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, God bless America. If you're trying to take your HVAC game to the next level, then buckle your seatbelt, crank up the volume, and try not to be offended. Because you're listening to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast with Gil Cavey and Kelly McKay. 
Now, here's Gil and Kelly. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, friends? HVAC Uncensored Nation. Welcome back to another show, man. Happy to be here. I'm your host, Gil Cavey. Uh, sitting alongside my 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 partner in crime who's in a different location today. He is remote. Mr. Kelly McKay, what's up, brother? Doing good, man. I am in Kansas City, Kansas. Um, we got a dealer meeting tomorrow. Um, your favorite equipment, train. Oh, yeah. They're going to tell you it's shit and sell carriers. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not in Kansas no. anymore, Toto. Um, there, there's a few speakers. They they split us up into groups. And when there's three different rooms, we rotate. So usually get a few nuggets of information. I'll bef- definitely be taking notes and, um, you know, bring some information on the next episode. So Nice. That's awesome, man. Well, I hope you guys have fun there. I know you're with the, the wife, Mrs. Rachel, so you guys can have a little vacation inside of a vacation. So that that's cool. Um, yep, you know, yep. Ke- Kelly had to take the boss with him. We know how that works. Yep. But, uh, but guys, we have a really, really good show for you guys tonight. Just so you guys know that we have been working hard in the background to book guests, and we have some fucking studs on this podcast as well as tonight. Um, there's some stuff that's going to blow your guys' mind. Um, I have been talking about this podcast. It's been rescheduled, which was my fault. Uh, he was scheduled in the heart of the computer debacle, but we were able to reschedule it and we have it tonight. And, um, I think you guys are really, really going to like this. And, um, let's just, let's just get into this guys. This is Mr. James Alul. Um, I haven't been butchered in that bad. Um, he is a, Part of Better Air. Um, he is a um, entrepreneur, consultant. He's a you know a top end salesman. Uh, he's not one of those little run of the mill guys, and uh, does a, he's an independent entrepreneur. But let, let me in, let him introduce himself. Uh, what's up, James? Welcome, my friend. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi Gil. Hi Kelly. How you doing, man? Good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. God bless America. Uh, yeah, we, yellow jacket yes, all the way. I got my yellow jackets hanging in my truck right now. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, we yeah. Yellow Jacket has been with us since day one, and uh, we're in the process of talking with some other sponsors, but we, we can't give Yellow Jacket enough love, man, as far as all the love they've given us. And it was kind of weird when we first started the podcast. I mean, they sponsored us before we ever put a podcast out, which people were like, what the hell, how the hell did that work? I'm like, I don't know. It just kind of happened. Um, but I was never one of those people that was good at chasing companies down. But now that the podcast has kind of boomed and, you know, everything went, um, now it's time to start cashing in. So <laughs> we're, we're, awesome. we're, we're awesome. going to do that shortly. But and one more thing, Gil, thank you for your service. Oh, uh, really appreciate it. Guys, oh, like I, you are taking care of our nation. Thanks, oh, for, thanks for helping us out. No, I appreciate that, Absolutely. man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but guys, we are on here tonight to talk about, you know, James has a lot of things that he is involved in. Like I said, James is an excellent, you know, high-end salesman, you know, crushing sales goals, you know, more than most of you are doing out there. And believe it or not, that's not even why he's here tonight. Um, Not saying we can't get into that, but he has a product. uh, Well, it's products, uh, Better Air. And me and James have been talking for a little bit now, but he reached out to me and we've been talking back and forth since then. And he sent me this product um, called the, it's the Biotica, right? Biotica 800. Biotica 800, yeah. Yes. And this thing, you know, you think, oh, somebody's going to send you an air cleaner, another air cleaner. Okay. Um, he a sent little the thing, little bitty. Yes. Yes. He has one and I have, I have the box. It's actually in my daughter's room. So he's going to explain how this thing works, but I'm going to tell you. First hand, I, I told James in the beginning that I said, yeah, man, I'll do it, but I'm going to give an honest review. And he said, I wouldn't expect anything else. Um, and this thing has been amazing. Uh, I have, you know, with health conditions and my four kids and my wife's brain condition, um, I on both of my inverter systems, I have, you know, UV lights and stuff like that because I do worry about IAQ when I try to clean the air. Um, in my youngest daughter's room, we had the diaper smell just wouldn't go away. And, you know, we had issues with my daughter not sleeping all the night, being stuffed up. We always had to run a dehumidifier, et cetera. 
since we put this thing in her room and I, I, you know, sent it to James and told him that that diaper smell has went away and my daughter sleeps through the night. Um, so this thing has been working amazing. I mean, amazing. So, and that is firsthand experience. I've had this thing, what, like well over a month now, right? Yeah. Right around there. Close to a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's been amazing. And I'm going to take this thing and send it to Kelly. Um, you know, so we're going to have to steal it from my daughter, my two year old daughter, you know, because Kelly's such an <laughs> asshole. So I can send it to him and let him try. It's like, no, just, just kidding. I'm actually going uh, to talk. Unless, hey, unless James just wants to just send us another one. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> do that. No, uh, possibility. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, but I'm going to talk to James about getting one for my whole house. That that's how much I, I love it. Cause I really think this thing is a game changer. So I guess before we get, I didn't mean to kind of shoot no, my load there no. too soon, but, um, I guess, tell people about you, your background, you know, pretty much what you told us before we started recording, before we get into the pro, um, the product itself. Sure. Sounds good. Well, I'm a 33 year contractor now. I bought my first service company when I was 16 years old, uh, landscaping. I was cutting grass around the neighborhood, made my own flyers, printed them up, put them out. Uh, by the time I was 23, I earned my first contractor's license. Uh, I've been a swimming pool contractor since I was 19 years old, uh, 27 builder's license. And from my service truck, I made it into the Fortune 30 in marketing and advertising. I was working for the president of Ford, the president of AT&T Advertising. And then uh, the world started blowing up on me and we started losing market share and digital technology and nobody was building swimming pools. So a good friend of mine looked at me and said, you should go sell air conditioning. I looked at him and I said, you're crazy. I don't know anything about air conditioning. But what I didn't realize is that I had been installing and working on heat pumps since I was 19 years old. So I pretty much knew everything. You know, he looked at me and he said, what's a heat pump? And I said, crap, you know, it's an air conditioner that runs in reverse. I answered an ad on Craigslist. I interviewed in my third month, I sold 28 or 26 out of 28 leads. Um, from there on, I've just been killing it. I'm now in the top 2% in the nation. That's <clears throat> and I'm doing training and uh, I love what I do. That this is that's the best part. I love my job. Uh, every day is different, and I love helping people. That that that's awesome, man! Congratulations. That that is, and you're absolutely right. And we, me and Kelly, always preach that to people that if you know, you always hear that if if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's really that that's true, guys. It's not just cliche. If you if you're passionate about what you do, I mean, yeah, people think, oh, we're just. We're just tradesmen. We just work on heating and air conditioning. Yeah, how do you how do you think all those sales happen? Exactly. The, the only thing that's causing those sales, or the primary thing, is that it's an ingredient. It's not some slick sales tactics. It's not some, uh, you know, a sales script or overcoming objections. It's the passion and enthusiasm. The customers yeah. can feel that absolutely. You know, absolutely. And, and for me, continuing education is the secret to my success. I, I was just a million dollar guy for a long time mm -hmm. and I started going through training courses. I got addicted to that. And now I'm a $3 million guy in Florida, uh, Cal in California, that's close to a $5 million guy. They get a lot more food yep. out there. They get probably 30% more than we do here on the East coast. What uh, is it when you're in Kansas? Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, a, 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 we're shooting for 1.8 this year. But man, I'm telling you, um, I really feel like, um, just like you said, like in California, that could be uh, a three million, you know. And I don't know what it is in Florida, but sure, um, it's different it sure all over the country. Way. Yeah, it's really interesting as I fly around the country. The industry is very different. The products, yeah. the terminology, the pricing. Uh, what's funny is they're the same boxes all over the country, but they're all different prices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Regionally. So <laughs> it, it's very interesting as I travel around. Yeah. And the pay, what technicians make is crazy. You oh, know, like wow. just going up and down the East Coast. Um, years ago, I worked for a company and they were all up and down the East Coast. And Vince, um, 
who was my boss, was an all, awesome guy. Uh, he was a South Philly guy that didn't bullshit around. He'd tell you to go fuck yourself in a heartbeat. Um, I think he actually told me that several times. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, he just said he's like he's like the, the talking about the pay, and he said that Maryland was one of the higher paying ranges, and Virginia, as far as around me. Like guys are making big bucks in Virginia because they kind of got to travel to DC and different places. And he kind of mm-hmm. broke it down. And I was like, man, that's, that's, that's crazy. Brent Buckley is really the star of the industry. Um, you know, Brent's an amazing guy. We're in groups together. I can't believe he almost did a million dollars in sales last month. Holy shit. By himself. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is an amazing industry. I love training the kids coming up in the industry, they look at my paychecks and they, they can't believe, you know, <laughs> they can't believe yeah. their eyes. Uh, it's, you know, it's very profitable if you keep training and if you keep on task. Um, for me, uh, honesty is everything. I, I have no need to lie, cheat, or steal. Uh, it's just I, I can't even explain it. I, I guess I'm terrible at explaining it, but the people can feel the education. They can feel that I care about them. Um, and that's why they buy off of me. No, I, I couldn't agree with it more, man. I, 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 I'm to be honest, sales and I don't know, you know, as far as total, I mean, I, I've helped to take a company when I started here, probably from one and a half million to 7 million. And we're a medium sized company, but Sales is something that I've always loved. Like you said, I love to help people. And I was always going to be honest. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to someone because I just, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go in there and bullshit them because they're going to see through that. You might get some sales off of it, but eventually it's going to come back to bite you. Oh, it always comes back. I've Mm -hmm. seen it come back to bite dealers. I've watched four of them go out of business and yeah, uh, it, it, they're out there. You know, we're we're fighting out there against them every day. But the the I'm telling you, the customers they can detect that now. Yeah. The customers yeah. are a lot more educated than they were even five years ago. I mean, I have people telling me exactly what they want. Um, yeah, it's it's a different. Yeah, thing. I mean, it, yeah. the information is available now. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. I, you know, I have a 4.0 GPA in construction law, architectural blueprint reading, uh, two state licenses, uh, you know, so they can, they can see that. Yeah. And, and, and I agree. And, and to all you guys out there listening, and if you're just, you know, a tech and you're a maintenance tech or whatever, guys, just know that there is so much growth for you in this industry. And <clears throat> don't think small. Don't think, oh, well, my company only has three people. Well, hey, guess what? Maybe your vision for your future is not with that company, sadly. And maybe they treat you good. Maybe they're great people. But guys, dream big. Have that vision. Like James and me and Kelly always say, continue your education. Keep learning and filling that toolbox full of things to make yourself valuable. valuable. And you can grow in this trade. I mean, it, it's it's amazing what you can do. So don't ever think you're stuck or you're at a dead end. Cause if you're, if you're in this industry and you're in a dead end job, you're there because you put yourself there. Um, I hate to say it that way, but that's, that's the truth. You put yourself in a dead end situation because you've didn't take opportunities or you're not trying to better yourself because if you try, trust me, there's places to go. Um, a lot of people I train don't, use the system you know they they don't want to put the effort in i work my ass off i'll tell you that i work mm-hmm. really hard i mean even a even a maintenance for me is two and a half hours i tear those machines completely down that, that's another thing is the the customers appreciate the time that i put into their systems yeah i take them yeah. completely yeah. apart i bring them out to the unit i show them I walk them through it and it, it, it really, it's just a funnel. And at the end of the funnel, right. it poops out a customer. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yep. 
And, and that's why you hear a lot of people say, oh, you know, those, those helicopter customers, that customer's over my shoulder. And me, I love it because when that customer's there and I can be honest and I can show them what I'm doing, by the end of it, we're, we're chums, we're buddies. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just longer. You think when you do a call, if you're at a call for two hours and you only talk to them for the 15 minutes when you arrive and then say, hey, this is the problem, 15 more minutes and then 15 minutes when it's time to leave. I've just made my whole you know, process longer, more interaction with the customer if they're sitting there watching me. So I don't mind that. I mean, I have nothing to hide. So I don't I know. Have an opinion. I have an opinion about that. A lot of people don't like it, but if you don't like the technician or the uh, customer hanging over you, you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, if you're, if you're comfortable uh, and you know what you're doing, I don't care. I love them over the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I screw <clears throat> up and I'll arc a wire in front of them, you know, sure. I go, oops, you know, and keep working. Yeah. But I've I, definitely <laughs> done that before. <laughs> yeah. I, I blew out a drain one time and oh yeah, I, I told you this story, <laughs> Kelly, and it was going running to a slop sink or like, you know, like a sanitary tub, yeah, whatever. And I blew it out and the pipe flipped up and it blew right in the customer's face. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I was just standing there like, oh, fuck. Yikes. And the guy I've was, had that happen, too. Yeah, the guy was like, man, I was in the wrong place, wasn't I? And thank <laughs> God he was so cool because I was just sitting there quiet like, oh, uh -huh. God. It was, it was a woman on, on the call that I was on, and she almost was, like, pissed. And I'm like, sorry. I mean, like, it wasn't my fault. She's the one who was, you know, walking over there. Is this <laughs> where it drains out? You know? Yeah, like, yeah you might want to stand back. <laughs> and if you God don't man. know if you don't know what you're doing you shouldn't be working on that piece of equipment yeah in, yeah. in my opinion right so you know i, 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 I think less. yeah i totally agree um but i think sometimes the younger guys if they're they're they don't have a ton you know many years of experience it just makes them nervous is all it's not that they don't always know what to do it just makes them nervous that somebody's watching them because they're not used to it all the time um That's but i might be a little bit of a hard ass on that one but <laughs> no i mean I, I that's okay if, you, if you're a seasoned tech i agree with that 100 percent. if you are just a maintenance tech i think that that confidence will come with time Yes. But I yes. do think at some point you should have that confidence though. I do. I do agree with that. Um, but all right. Well, we, we've discovered that James is, is a badass. He can, you know, he's an honest salesman. Uh, so, but let's talk about this product, man, because I really think that this is, this is really going to revolutionize things. It, it, it's a whole different story. So, I mean, believe so. I tell us how it works. To tell, tell, let the listeners know why they need to have this shit in their house. Sure. So while I was in the Fortune 30, I, I was doing work for AT&T and I was working for sales executive in the uh, marketing and advertising side. And we've been friends for probably 13, 14 years now. About two and a half years ago, he called me and he said, man, I've got a product right up your alley. I want you to start doing the research on it and get yourself educated because I think this is going to be the next big thing. And I said, what is it? And he says, probiotic air purification. And I go, wow, probiotics. And I take probiotics. I actually have little packets that I, I put in uh, my uh, smoothies and it helps my gut. So yeah, uh, it's a yogurt. Help. Yeah, they put probiotics in yogurt. They have probiotic sprays. So I started to do the research. I found it very, very interesting. Uh, the company that he was working with, though, I, I uh, thought was a little, it wasn't mature enough to go on to the market. They really didn't have the products. Um, they really wanted me to just put, put it in a pump sprayer and spray it around. And I said, you know, well, we need a delivery device. So excuse me. So uh, I was doing some research and lo and behold, I, I accidentally stumble across this product and uh, it's a delivery device for probi probiotics made for the heating and cooling industry that plugs right into your ducting system and disperses this product into the duct system through means of aerosol. So we're taking a liquid bottle and uh, we're screwing it into a, a machine 
and it pumps it right into the duct system. Mm, yeah, it's so uh, he's the bigger one. The one that he had let me use, which he'd already showed previously, was just for a room. And you said it was what, like 800 square feet? Yours is for 800 square foot. So, you know, this product right here that, that you're testing is really not for our industry. They separated the products. This is just a, a little residential. I'm in charge of all the heating and cooling. So I'm the master distributor for all of the heating and cooling side, residential and commercial. What I'm using this product for is testing, room testing. I think it's gonna be a great idea for dealers to have this little machine to give to their customers to test. Yeah. You can give this to your customer for a month, tell them to put it in, in a room and see how it works. And then you can make that sale into the big machine, which is behind me. And uh, it's a little further back, so it looks small, but this thing weighs about 40 pounds and it has a computer controller on it. And when you open the door, you can see the uh, probiotic bottle hanging inside of it. Nice. Cool. So it's just a large version of what you have in your daughter's room right now. And... Uh, we have units, this unit goes up to 5,000 square foot. We have units that go up to 45,000 square foot for commercial spaces. It's really, really neat. So you can cover a giant office building with one single machine ducted into their HVAC system. That is, that, 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 that's awesome. And, and guys, uh, I'm going to let James explain it, but when you listen to the technology behind this, it make it, it it makes sense because you know i have the uv lights all you know right before my filter i have the big you know media filters and then i have uh, the air night that's supposed to admit the you know the airborne hydrogen peroxide and kill the air and and i do think they've helped i think it's better than having nothing but you know james brings up a good point that those things they kill they kill everything you know some some bacteria is good bacteria and these things kill everything. So, so I don't butcher this, explain to them how this pro, uh, probiotic actually works, like what it does once it gets into the duct system in the air. Sure. So in my research and in my training, what I didn't know about UV and HEPA, and I've sold millions of dollars of IAQ equipment is that it kills everything. It does work. It does kill molds and viruses. It, it wipes everything out. But what it also does is kill the good bacteria that our bodies need to survive. So like everything else in the universe, there's good and bad. There's good bacteria and bad bacteria, and they're constantly at war with each other. So what this machine is doing is dispersing um, something called bacillus. And this is uh, in a family of bacteria that goes out and hunts bad bacteria. So anything that is aggressive, once this is dispersed through the air, it lands on it and it starts to replicate and multiply and it smothers out the bad bacteria, whether it be mold, uh, viruses, toxins, it just eats it right up. Um, now, we call it environmental balancing. So knowing that HEPA and UV are wiping out all of the good bacteria, we need to rebalance the environment, okay? So um, we're pumping this product in. It's fighting all the bad stuff. And at the same time, building a culture, layering your home with this good bacteria to keep it down. In the process, it's eating odors, just like your daughter's room. Yeah. It, just, it, it devours the odors. It lands on surfaces. It's floating through the air. Um, really amazing stuff. Yeah, guys. And, and like I said, th that James sent me one of, the, one of those things. And mm -hmm. my daughter's room, we could not get rid of that, like, that diaper smell. Like, it, it, it would go away, but it would just linger. And it would just be, like, frustrating when I, like, because – when I come out of my master bedroom, my, my youngest daughter's room is right across the hall. And it's just like, man, close the door. Cause I don't feel like smelling that shit. And this thing was in the room for probably three days and 
the smell was gone. My, my wife actually called me at work and she said, what the hell is that thing that you put in there again? And I was like, I don't really know. I'm like, but I know that it cleans the air. I was like, why, why, what's wrong? And she was like, the diaper smells gone. And I was like, you gotta be shitting me. Like you thought you would think we just won the lottery because that smell was so annoying to us. And mm -hmm. that's when I reached out to James and was like, dude, the, the diaper smell is gone. And then I just noticed some of the other benefits, you know, like my daughter's sinuses and sleeping through the night and stuff like that, the benefits. And this is probably not even a good um, test because it was just in a room. And every time her room or door opens, it's being contaminated by the hallway. So I can only imagine what this thing can do and the benefits it can have if I do this on a whole home basis. So um, it is very, very intriguing. And before I forget, James told us, um, I'm going to actually try to find it and share the actual link in the description of this podcast. But if you go onto YouTube and you search better air, so just B E T T E R and then air A I R E. No, he said there's a just A I R and then probiotics. Okay. Um, yep. B E T T uh, E R A I R. Oh. Probiotics. Yep. Yeah, right Doug, I got, I got I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab something off the shelf here. This will be interesting. Yeah. So guys, check that out. He said that that is. It's a video where they have like cultures sitting there, and they show you over time these things what, running what's across actually that. happening. And yeah, yeah, what's actually happening? Yeah. <clears throat> Here's Go the crazy that. part about this stuff. All right, so we have sprays. And uh, you can spray it on your skin if you have skin issues. So if you have flaking skin, eczema, this will go to battle against those bad bacteria and viruses. And watch this. It's known to cure gingivitis. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It doesn't make hair grow, though, I, I see. No, it doesn't. I tried it. I sprayed it on my head. But uh, it actually cures bad breath. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. And, and it absorbs through your skin, gets into your bloodstream, and acts just as the probiotic in your yogurt. That that's funny, guys. And and James said that and it made sense. Like, guys, all these people, you know, you got messed up stomachs and you know you're eating that activia or whatever the probiotic stuff or you're kinda, eating. You're eating McDonald's, too much McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you're trying to get your, your stomach and your gut and you're trying to balance, you know, those bacteria levels in your body. And we like James said, we need good bacteria to survive. And yes, you know, th this thing is that's crazy. For five years, I've been taking this stuff here by Arbonne. It's a probiotic. And so I was taking this stuff in packet form five years ago. So it's interesting how we just liquefy it and blow it through the air and it reabsorbs just as if you drank it. That's awesome. So all you guys out there walking around with shit mouth, you, you can, <laughs> you can clean your house. And also people will want to have conversations with you because you can kill that, <laughs> that shitty breath. Um, you know, uh, this is, it, it's really fascinating. This, this whole concept, because I've never heard of this before. Um, and so, and we all know the reasons why it's so important to have, you know, with the tighter construction, like there's a real need for indoor air quality. Um, but not only that, but just the health benefits, that's what's just blowing, you know, that's, that's crazy. Like it really is crazy. It's hard to grasp because um, I've know, just not heard of it before. It's like all new technology. It's kind of yeah. Age. It's kind of out there right now for me. It's like preaching Christianity to the Indians, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, people look at me like I'm absolutely insane. Uh, Landon Brewer over at Einstein's, he made me laugh the hardest. He he looks, you know, or, or uh, he uh, texts me back. He says, "So uh, we're spraying yogurt all over people." <laughs> right. I mean, kind of, yeah, you know. I think I paid twenty bucks for that back in the day at a bar. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's out there. It's really weird. And I never knew that there was something out there that cures multiple different issues at the exact same time. 
Um, a really interesting story. I stuck my head into an air handler yesterday that was infected with a bad strain of mold. Now, there's 36,000 strains of mold. Only 100 will affect you. Only three will kill you, right? So I don't like to freak people out with the M word. We don't know exactly what's in there, but I am very susceptible to sinus issues. I have sinus issues all the time. If I stick my head in an air handler that has a bad strain in it, I will blow right up. My eyes will start watering. My throat will close up. The customers can actually see that. That's kind mm -hmm. of really helps me out in sales because I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> choking. But, uh, it, it affects you all day. I know a lot of you guys out there in the field have had this happen to you. You get your head into a bad air handler and the rest of your day, you're all plugged up. I was dripping, sinus, crying, you know, had the throat thing. I came into my test room because I am not using it in my entire home. I have just built this biome right here in this bedroom. And I walked into the room, closed the door within 45 minutes to an hour. I'm completely clear. I have no sinuses. My throat opens up and I can talk. It, it, you know, I keep selling myself on this thing because I keep having these odd experiences. The other day mm -hmm. with the hurricane, it started raining and it was bringing all the toxic crap down in the atmosphere and I blew up. I come into the room within an hour and I'm clear again. It's, it's really amazing stuff. You know, it, it, it reminds me of a, uh, uh, a part in the Bible where, you know, God will put everything that we need on the planet, you know? Uh, and this is one of the uh, miracle items that we have to help us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. Like I said, I, and I'll be honest, I guess, as far as like the air cleaners and stuff that I have and I've sold and people say, you know, have you seen the difference? And I guess I have seen a difference since I've had like the air nights and the UV lights. I've noticed a little bit, you know, as far as like my kids not missing a school for being sick as much and stuff like that. But it's been minor things over a long period of time. And what really, really impressed me about this was it fixed Issues, problems that we had, that we've had for a long time, you know, since I've lived in this house or since, well, since my daughter has been born um, and how quickly it did it. And, it. and it fixed problems that I didn't even know that I had until I sat back and thought about it. Um, so that to me was really eye opening that as far as how it worked. And I didn't even know until we just talked exactly the process of what the hell it did um but i knew it was doing something and i really do think this that is neat guys that you you really really need to check this out and uh and look into this because i do think this is the future of you know of clean air definitely i can't wait till it becomes a norm and it's in commercial buildings and helping everybody out um so it, the bottom line is that it is a living bacteria in this bottle. All right. And it's re, just think of good and evil. You got bad bacteria, you have good bacteria. And as Kelly was saying earlier, the video on YouTube, if you look at the videos of the two Petri dishes where we infected the Petri dishes with molds and contaminants, this stuff goes after it. Okay. It's alive. It goes after the molds and it, it swarms it and it's, it suffocates it. it. It covers it. If you've ever seen cancer cells growing, how rapidly they grow, it looks exactly like cancer cells eating good cells in a Petri dish. You guys will be blown away. Hmm. I can't wait to watch that video. Now, right now, all of the website is dedicated solely towards the small machine it they had all of the commercial products and they had the uh, small products together but they've separated that and they're going to be building a huge website for now you can go to better air us b-e-t-t-e-r-a-i-r-u-s dot com um we hired a, a company out of manhattan called 5w 
and they've done amazing jobs with marketing materials, commercial brochures, slideshows, um, all of that you can find only on Facebook because we do not have a dealer portal or a website with commercial products yet. It's all on Facebook. I'm running the group um, and that's Better Air Dealers on Facebook. It's a closed group. Gil, you're in the group. Yeah. And um, I'm teaching everybody as we go. And actually, we're all learning together. We're all having these experiences and we keep posting our our uh, experiences on that page. Eventually, 5W is going to build a commercial site for us and it will have a, a professional dealer portal where, where all the dealers will be able to come in for learning. Right now on the Facebook page, I have file sections set up with uh, doctor's reviews, um, brochures, explanations. And uh, like I said, when we get the big site built, uh, it'll be online. Nice. That's, that's crazy. So how would one go about trying to purchase one of these like, or become a dealer to sell them? Like, how do we get it? And then how do we get it to our customers? Sure. Most of us know Gene Slade. Gene Slade is my national distributor right now. We're working very closely together. He's been testing a whole home unit um, and uh, he'll be running most of the sales. We'll be working as a team. But really, everybody right now should go to the uh, Better Air HVAC dealer page on Facebook group, the group. Uh, the, the main page is not built out yet. And what we're doing is we're giving away one unit of each type of unit at dead cost. All right. So you can, whatever, whatever, right. <laughs> yeah. In fact, the prices just went down yesterday. I've been waiting on this price drop for almost 90 days now. So mm -hmm. the, the unit behind me, um, <clears throat> as a dealer, you can get a test unit for a thousand dollars. They wholesale for one thousand four sixty, and then the manufacturer just raised the suggested retail price to thirty four ninety five. It's a little it's a little pricey, but all technology, all new technology, is expensive. These guys are spending tens of millions of dollars globally right now. This is not just an American operation. We're in uh, we're on four continents right now: uh, Singapore. Uh, the United Kingdom, Australia, they're all up and running. And it costs a lot of money, uh, nine years of research. Um, and then uh, the EPA just gave us eight awards. So this is now um, uh, rated. It, it, it can't hurt you. It's, it's tested, government approved, and we're on our way. We're well on our way now. <clears throat> That's awesome. How much are the um, replacement cartridges going to run, you know, um, retail? All different, I mean, yeah. All the different machines have uh, different prices on their cartridges. So retail on, uh, on the big bottle, this bottle here is what screws into the bigger machines. This yeah. will retail for $199 to your customers, and you guys buy it for like $79. Bucks. And how long does that one? I know you said the small one lasts for 90 days. How long does that one last? 90 days on the little cartridge. This bottle goes six months. Nice. So it is $400 a year retail, but it's worth it. It's well worth it to keep everybody healthy and keep odors down. I, I agree. And, and doing it naturally, something that's going to happen and, and this is going to clean the air and, and all that kind of stuff and just help your overall health, you know, in general. And guys, you, I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse. I've said this a million times in this podcast, but guys, well, ladies and gentlemen, I keep forgetting the ladies, but some of the dirtiest air that you breathe all day is in your own home. It's not some, it is. The dirtiest all air right. you breathe all day is in your own home. So, yeah. I mean, we, we sell all these high-end fancy inverter systems and these things can heat and cool in sub-zero temperatures and, man, that furnace is going to run in a fucking blizzard and a middle of a hurricane and all this other stuff. That's great. But don't we want that fancy piece of equipment to heat and cool clean air? 
it's great that it heats and cools good, but I don't want to heat and cool dirty air. And a one inch filter should be a fucking sin. It should be a crime. I mean, <laughs> right. But the, be clean, the clean air is going to, you know, extend the life of the equipment as well. Yeah. Um, period. So That's it's good. It's good literature. for everything. Yeah, it's actually in the literature. Uh, it, uh, it helps in uh, dissipating dust. So, you know, most of the dust in the air is our skin cells billions and billions of skin cells uh, yeah. fluffing off of us on a daily basis. You have a whole family that dust you see flying around is everybody's skin. And this uh, product will go after it and actually eat it. So it consumes it. It consumes dust mite, dust mite feces. It goes after everything. It's, it's just, it's really interesting how it works. Yeah. I, I wonder scientist. if you had like a, I, I know, but I'm just thinking like, what if you had like an infection or something like a scratch in your arm that got infected? What would it do if you sprayed it on there? Like who knows? I mean, yeah, uh, it, it will pretty, help you heal sure faster. Does. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a scientist, you know, I'm just a, a dumb HVAC guy, but I wish <laughs> I, I, I had more knowledge into, into it, but uh, we actually were hiring a doctor on staff. So we're going to have a doctor that you guys can talk to right through the portal. Nice. I'm not a doctor. Nice. I just yeah. one on TV. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night. Um, for all you just <laughs> listeners and audio, and you're not watching the video portion of this podcast, James sprayed this on his skin and in his mouth a yeah. little while ago. <laughs> it's crazy. So just to tell you how he believes in the product that he, you know, we watched him do it. It was, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no CGI going on here. Um, so I, that's I, I've never drank it before, but if I die tomorrow, then we know it's not good. But... <laughs> now he's drink. Now he just yeah he drinks. Uh, uh, I just drank some. <laughs> it's it, it's the same material. It's the exact same strain that's in my packet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my probiotic packet. It's just liquefied. Yeah, or you can save money and just start putting yogurt all over your filter. Right, you know? spray yogurt all over it. <laughs> yeah, just activity <laughs> the shit out of it and you'll be fine. So, but I mean, this, and, and I love how you explain the way it works, you know, because when you buy these other like air nights and stuff like that and they have these little videos and even when the rep comes in, he's like, yeah, man, this thing, this thing cleans the air. Yeah, that's cool. How does it do it? Well, it, it kills it. I'm like, no shit. How does it kill it? Well, it, it actually goes out there, grabs it, and kills it. I'm like, dude, I, I get what the – I understand it kills it, okay? How does the process work? And I feel like they're just like, yeah, man, it goes out and gets it. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Stop talking to me. Like, you're just – you're starting to piss me off with your stupid answers. Um, like, this one just – it just makes sense. How it, it, it's something that's natural, something that we all need. And um, like I said, guys, I, I've seen it work firsthand in a, in a localized area. So I am very intrigued to see what this thing can do on a larger scale in my house. And that one would work. I mean, my house is like a little over 3,000 square feet. I don't know, something like that. I'm moving, but I'm still going to be under the 5,000 square foot mark. Um, for what I'm paying, it should be more fucking con artist but uh <laughs> yeah you on the computer screen you can actually dial it down three different modes like a low medium and high uh for a smaller square foot area that's yeah that's all right that that's awesome so i mean we still have uh oh damn we've been talking way longer than i thought god i hate this we start I talking and time goes by so fast um but um i told you to keep me on track <laughs> yeah well <laughs> kelly kelly only keeps me on track i've never I'm, been so quiet in a podcast I, this is all new to me all uh, i'm just now learning indoor air quality i mean i i know that um there's some products that we've used and sold and i know they work and i have my own testimonies you know my own testimonial for my own home because i've put it in there but um i really want to learn like what gil's saying like how does it work what exactly does it do why do we need this? Um, why did, why is it good for the customer? Why, you know, all these things I, I'm just digging into to learn. Um, yeah. and, and one so, thing you'll notice Kel too, is when, you know, we and you have already talked about, you know, in Kelly's area and the median, you know, income and stuff out there, people are buying a lot of like the base, you know, stuff and Kelly pushes the shit out of it. Cause that's what sells. Um, 
Kelly's trying to push his his way into the higher end higher end market. And I, I've noticed that my sales have increased. And I mean, I'll let James attest to this, that when I started pushing into the higher end equipment, the inverters and, you know, stuff like that, and I started thinking about HVAC, but kind of thinking outside of the box of the envelope. And I started to build packages for customers where it was a new high end system. It was something to clean the air. Maybe it was, um, you know, adding insulation somewhere or redoing some duct work. And, you know, people only make these purchases normally two, three times in a lifetime. And I'm stealing that from uh, our buddy, James, uh, I mean, uh, Jason from uh, Master of the Hustle podcast. And I love the way he said that, that people only do this two or three times in their lifetime. So if you express that to them and you tell them like, hey, this this isn't a cookie cutter process that I'm going to build a package that I think fits you, your family, your home, and your needs. It's amazing what people are willing to spend uh, when you can add value to what you're doing and, you know, and the customer sees that value. Um, sometimes, you yeah, know, we, we sell more mid-level stuff well, than anything yeah. else. Like 16 seer, that's like our bread and butter, like 16 seer, 95%, which is good, but yeah, not, yeah. not the, like, you know, the 18, I or whatever the twenty I the tw- now the variable speed stuff. Yeah, just haven't sold much of that. So yeah, that's I all. Do- I'm, that's all I'm selling right now is a eighteen mm-hmm. tier variable speed two stage. I'll give you guys my uh, my secret format on how to all get right. people to buy the higher end units. It's really easy. Yeah, I do a drawing for every customer because I watched salesmen talk with their hands about the eight different types of air conditioners we have. And I watched the customer's heads follow their hands and then they go, yeah. well, what do you like, and the customer has no idea. So I put it all on paper. In fact, heck, I got it right here. I created a, I created a funnel. I created this funnel that helps customers understand. So we have sear at the top. We have the different, types of air handlers and the different compressors. And then at the bottom we have accessories and I hand draw this for every single customer upside down because I'm left-handed. So I draw, I, I, I do it like this. And uh, all I make the customer do is point to the items that they would like to have. Nobody ever buys the cheapest. Nobody, well, a few buy the most expensive, Everybody points to the middle to, to the middle and in the middle is an 18 sear two stage variable speed system. I like that. I want that. Send me I've that. seen yeah. that before. And my, the training, the, the guy that trains me, like he has a really similar thing. Does he really? Like it is very similar. Um, I invented I, I'm, that on my end. I, I, uh, nice. I, yeah. Nobody taught that to me. I just kind of caught on that most people are visual learners like myself. Mm-hmm. And once I lay it all out, they just point, pick, and, uh, and buy. I, I, I <laughs> like that, man. I, I, I've been pretty good at selling high end equipment because I believe in it. I have them in my home. I mean, I have mm-hmm. two of the, I have two of the 20 seer, uh, green speeds in my house. And I've, I've seen what they can do. I believe them, believe in them. I'm sorry. Um, and I, I, people see that passion come through. I've even told customers, like, you can come to my house. If you want to see what it does, you're more than welcome to come over. You can take a look at them, whatever you want to do. Nobody's ever done it, but no. you put that offer out there. But um, so I like I, that, man. I have an interesting yeah. update since I drank the uh, better air. <laughs> I'm burping yeah. a bit. <laughs> and my uh, sinuses have opened up even more. I can breathe a little better right now. <laughs> so James has spontaneously <laughs> shit his pants. So everybody knows. <laughs> 30 minute up. He's actually just grown one inch on his biceps. <laughs> yeah. He has a full head of hair. <laughs> and he has a horn. <laughs> That's so, funny. So getting back to uh, UV and HEPA. I've sold millions of dollars of it. It works. It has worked for us. Better air is simply the next progression, the evolution in air quality, IAQ sales. Um, And it made perfect sense to me when the trainer, a scientist actually was teaching me. And he said, look, 
the easiest way to understand is they never told you guys that UV and HEPA kill all the good bacteria with the bad. You don't have to be a rocket science to under, a scientist to understand that. Heck, if you look at the thing, you burn, burn your eyeballs out, right? Yeah. So um, it's just the next progression. Uh, you know, I'm already figuring it's going to take a couple of years to get our industry into it. It's going to take a couple of more years till the customers keep hearing about it. I'll be coming up with innovative marketing programs. I think what we really need to do is plant seeds. I would be sending out emails before you even attempt to try to sell this thing. It, you know, I would start seeding the market with the information about probiotics and the machines and the availability. And the second half that the uh, scientist was telling me about was once we kill all the bad stuff, then we start layering the home with the good. And it takes three to five weeks, he told me, to create this thing called a biome, or as Gene Slade calls it, the rainforest. I really love his explanation the best. And uh, that's how we talk now. I said, hey, man, how's your rainforest doing at your house? You know, And, and um, we keep having these experiences. He just recently had an experience. He's been up and running whole home for about two weeks. And he missed a few of my posts. I had a weird experience with this machine. Um, I went through, oh, I, we already talked about it, actually. I would walk out into the home and the, and the house would infect me. And then after I got over that, I would walk out into the, into the world and the world would infect me. That went away after a couple of weeks. It's really, really strange. And I think that's why the scientists called it ecological balancing, my body is adjusting to the biome created in the home versus the contaminants on the outside. So this room that I'm in is now purified. So it, we're not just purifying the air. It, it's landing on your bed and it's eating the dust mite crap. It's eating the, the, the germs, the viruses, the dust, the skin tissue. It's like living in a bubble kind of your roommate you don't even know he's there uh, yeah <laughs> my little friend lots of roommates but but gene you know i asked gene i said so you know we he's been really busy so we haven't heard i haven't talked to him in a week or two and uh i said so you know what's going on and he says he says you know the first few days was amazing it, it cleared up our sinuses and, and everything was great but you can't see it and you can't smell it it doesn't have an odor. Um, so, you know, he says, I I'm not sure, but the weirdest thing is happening to me. I go outside and I get down the road and my sinuses start releasing. And I said, there you go, man. It's working. It it's like reverse confirmation. That's awesome. Right. So, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it's exactly what I went through. So it seems like our bodies, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I really don't have it all down yet. I'm still learning as we go. Um, it seems like the body goes through a one to two week adjustment period. And then now I'm fine. But when I do, when like the air handler yesterday, when I, I started firing off, I actually couldn't wait to get home. And lock myself in this room and within that 45 minutes to an hour I'm I'm clear again. Yeah, that's well, I want to make sure I say this before we end this is sure. I I want to help promote this man. So, if you could email me one of your better air logos, um I'll put it on, you know, with the sponsors or whatever, man, and and I I will help promote this from from this end as much as i can to try to get this out and funnel the information or funnel the people to you guys because um i definitely want to talk about getting one for the whole home and just a short time i definitely believe in this thing and i've seen what it's what's done and i'm actually excited to see what it'll do on a whole home basis i really am that's great and my function at the company i have a, a couple of different functions so i'm a consultant to corporate um, I am helping them modify the machines to the different regions of the country because I learned out in Arizona 
you know, those addicts are, are actually too hot for the probiotic. Okay. This stuff can't handle over 140 degrees. So I'm working on modifying the machines with longer tubes. This is the uh, dispersion tube. This plugs into the top. This goes right into the duct trunk. So you drill your hole, you slide that in. It's four simple screws and you aim it into the airflow. All right. So I'm helping them modify the machines for different areas. I'm an advisor with the marketing. I've caught some mistakes in the marketing. Um, things that, uh, you know, they're trying to talk to our industry. So I'm kind of like the liaison between the industry and the manufacturer themselves. It was created in Israel and uh, each uh, nation has its own uh, distributor uh, or, or the, the people who own the rights to that territory. And what's really cool, what they've given me and what they're allowing me to do is not only work as a consultant and an advisor, but I am the master distributor for North America. My job is to knight new distributors. So of course I want dealers out there, but really my function is to uh, knight new distributors and get this into the distribution channel. And I've actually done this with products in the past in a different industry. Distributors don't want anything to do with you until you've built the market up. And then they call you and they say, hey man, now we'll carry your product. So it's really up to us to get the product out there and get the name out there. And then once that happens and the distributors start hearing you guys asking for it more, they'll start carrying it at all the major distributors. That's probably another year or two away. So, um, you know, this might sound crazy to you guys, but I can make you a distributor. You guys can sell it to all of your, uh, everybody, all the dealers and everybody in your group. That's sure. great. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, do first, it. <laughs> first sale will be to myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, and speaking of Gene, we have to actually reschedule Gene because Gene was yeah. supposed to be on the week before you. And, um, well, actually, Gene was busy one time. I know he was really busy when I talked to him. And then we had something else happen and we decided to hold off. So I need to get Gene back on here. And I, I, I would love to talk to Gene about this as well. Um, but, yeah, I I love it, man. I, I'll help in any way. I'll be a dealer. I mean, I'll I'll sell it in my own company, and and I will definitely help promote the product one hundred percent. That's great. Yeah, I'll get a plug in for Gene. You know, you know, uh, my success. I attribute a lot of my success to Gene. I've taken all the training, not all of them, but most of the training courses. Airtime five hundred, Next Star, uh, Charlie Greer. Gene Slade's Ninja, um, Stuker Phone Sales, Zig Ziglar, Tommy Hopkins, you know, throughout mm -hmm. my career. And my opinion right now, you know, I was with Gene in the very beginning when he started his consulting agency after he sold his company down in Naples. And uh, I've watched Gene develop himself over the past five years now. I think my personal opinion, Gene Slade is probably the best sales trainer in the country right now. It's just my personal opinion. There's a lot of them out there and I'll tell you, all of them are great. I've learned from every single one of these guys. And once after you get rolling in training and, you know, I'm years into training now, you develop your own system. Yeah, sure. So I take snippets out of all of these courses and I've developed my own system along with my funnel. And I went from with with Gene's system, I basically went from one to almost three million dollars overnight, literally overnight. I mean, I, I literally spent two days at a company with his system and sold eighty five thousand dollars my first week. Yeah, that, nice. that's awesome. Pe yeah. People have their opinions, but, you know, and talking to Gene, you know, now after finally get it, you know, talk to him. And, and I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't know him anything like you do, but talking to Gene and hearing him talk and you can just tell that he's very good at what he does. He's very knowledgeable. You know, when you ask him a question, 
he's not thinking about an answer. It's like, it's like he knew what you were going to ask before you asked it because he already has that. As soon as you're done, he already has that answer coming out. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to talk to him and I would love to meet him in person. Well, you guys in general, I would love to meet people in person, but, um, yeah, yeah I need to get his, to- um, his ninja training. I haven't, haven't done it, but, um, I'm curious to see what it is even more so now um, after talking to James, that's for sure. And then because I, I really like to study sales. I, I don't extremely enjoy sales, but I love like the psychology behind it and, and it helped, you know, I'm constantly training sales to my team um, and I'm good at sales. It's just something I would rather not do if I don't have to. So, um, but it's something I continue to want to learn more and more about. So mm-hmm. duct, uh, duct sales training, learning how to measure duct systems, learning yeah. how to fix people's issues. I sold $16,000 in duct work last week. Yeah. I'm a maintenance. I'm a maintenance guy. You know, I'm an end stage. What I am, a, what they call me is a end stage maintenance sales tech. So everything I get is eight years or older. And right. you know, I'm not recommending any repairs or, and I'm not recommending replacements unless they absolutely need that. I had a customer the other day that just needed a blower pull and clean and a EVAP coil pull and clean. Look at me and say, do I need a new air conditioner? Uh, it's a nine year old dream. I said, no, man, you got you have at least two or three more years, at least this machine's running great. Let's just do the maintenance. So if he doesn't need a system, I'm not going to sell him a system. Sure. Oh, but duct work is huge. If you live in a area that is flexible duct work, obviously the guys with metal duct, uh, you know, it's built into the home. It's a little harder to modify, but you should still do all your measurements and get your airflow proper. Yeah, that's that's sure, how we sure. are here. And I do that. I've actually lost sales and had customers come back because they'll want a really nice system. And I'll tell them like, hey, that's great. But in, if I'm going to sell you the system, I need to modify some duct work. You know, like I need to add a return. I need to put a bigger plenum on this, a bigger return drop. Um, and they're like, oh, well, the other guy said, you know, I don't need that. I'm like, ma'am, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to be honest with you. And sometimes they'll, they'll still go with me and sometimes they went with the other company and then called me back to do the repairs, even though that it's kind of a bittersweet thing. Like, okay, the other company got the sale and I'm going to come fix their screw up, but it just proves my point in the long run. So all of our duct systems are messed up here. So we can't hardly, we cannot hardly go do a change out without having to make, to modify duct work. It's, it's. It's insane. Yeah. I'm looking uh, real quick for um, for my file here. I'll show you just in the last, if I can find it. Here we go. So, you know, airflow is incredibly important. But I, uh, like I said, I sold 16000 last week. You know, I go through everybody who will let me into their attic to do measurements it's a part of my maintenance and I'll measure it all to spec. I do all of the math right in front of the customers. I sit down at their table with the charts. This guy has massive airflow issues. Um, He needs uh, $4,000 worth of duct work added to his 3,100 square foot home. A one year old home has four different climate zones in it. Freezing cold, (laughs) freezing cold, uncomfortable, hot and okay <laughs> so yeah we're, yeah. we're going to get them rebuilt and and uh <laughs> that's the missing four thousand on that cheap bid that they accepted exactly <laughs> exactly so yeah. in case you guys haven't heard james right he is riding around in a truck he's maintaining systems and doing these sales so you know a lot of you guys are like oh he's just some grimy sales guy which you know that that's not even true. People act like sales is a dirty word um, when it's the nature of the business. So just listen to that. And when I say that, I want you guys to want more for yourself and just know that be able to do what you're capable of doing and, and know that there's, there's places to grow and things to do. So I want to make sure that I emphasize that, you know, with an exclamation point. Just a really, really high level of service. 
Yes. That's all. How many, how many, how many people are sitting down and drawing out a duck system with people, you know, not many. What do I say at the end of every podcast? Do what the next guy doesn't do. And that's what James is doing. He's doing what the next guy's not doing. And that's why he sells what he sells, you know, end of discussion. That's, that's how, that's That's how that works. That's all there is to it. Um, Yeah. So, Dan, we, we've been talking for almost an hour and a half. Um, wow. An hour, wow. Yeah, this is going to be another longer podcast. So we're going to get ready to close this out. But I want to say, uh, first of all, we're going to uh, give a round of applause to uh, James for coming on here. That is that that's awesome. Um, Thanks, guys. James, yeah, we appreciate you being here, man. We thank you for, you know, spreading the knowledge on this this product, which I believe in that I'm going to support 100% and also for what you do out there, being an honest salesman, doing things the right way. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> yeah. Just, uh, um, this was really a really fascinating discussion mm-hmm. a really fascinating, cool technology that we're talking about here. So I'm excited to learn more about it as this continues to, develop and unfold and um there's we already know there's a need for it um there's no question about that so it's just a case of uh testing it i want to i want my own testimony uh, my own testimonial you know i want to learn how does it affect my environment in my house so um but thanks so much thanks so much for coming on james i ab- absolute pleasure to meet you and um I will, uh, I'll try to get in your Facebook group if you'll let me in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, other than that, guys, um, thanks so much for listening. Uh, please tell your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers about the show. Please subscribe, leave us a review. Thank you so much for how many, I, I couldn't believe I hadn't looked at reviews in quite some time on i on uh, iTunes, and I couldn't believe how many reviews we had. So thank you guys. Please keep pumping them out. Just keep pumping them out. We greatly appreciate it. it helps other people find us. And uh, like I don't know if Gil said at the beginning or not, but we got some really um, a, a lot more cool guests, just like James, that are going to be joining us. For sure. Um, in, in the near future, really excited about that. So can't wait to bring that those episodes to you so we can learn. We're learning just like you guys are learning. So it's really cool and exciting. So guys, whatever you do, go make money. Yeah, guys, we, we appreciate all you. So definitely keep keep giving us reviews. Um, you know, keep uh downloading the podcast make sure you're subscribed on all the major apps you guys know all that we're on all the major podcast apps itunes google play uh stitcher spotify soundcloud if there's ever an app that's an issue let us know there's been an issue with a few of them if you have an issue go ahead and email us uh the the best way to get in touch with us is just to go to our website uh www.hvacuncensored.com you can email us from there you can get the youtube from there so uh, we try to funnel everybody to that. Uh, that's also going to be a link on there to our merch store once that's finished. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. Just bear with me. Um, and we're also going to have some changes to our website uh, because it's kind of built like we're a HVAC company and we're not. So me and Kelly have some changes. We're going to make that to build it so people stop hitting us up to come fix their fucking furnace and shit like that. But um, I, I ran a call the other night. So Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate you guys, man. Me and Kelly are doing a lot of things behind the scenes to kick this off, man. You guys have in a in little over a year have helped us grow um, to be one of the most ser- uh, searched HVAC podcast that's out there. And we hear that from other people. That's not us, you know, trying to brag and talk about ourselves. It is because of you guys, and we cannot thank you enough, man. Um, so. Uh, Guys, don't forget about our Facebook group. Go join that. Um, That's HJC Technicians Only. And guys, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I am doing, we're doing live streams on YouTube and we're giving stuff away every week. Uh, Some big prizes, some small prizes, but we're giving things away, guys. So don't miss it. Go over to YouTube. um, You know, go ahead and give us a like on those videos. Give us a subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that we go live. And uh, 
yeah, man, we thank you guys. Uh, definitely go check out and Google Better Air. Watch that video on YouTube. The link will be in this description. Uh, the, guys, this product is cutting edge. I think this is going to be the next great thing. And you guys want to be on the front end of it. Don't be that guy who is waits till it's, you know, it's the norm. And then do you finally do it? Don't be that asshole. Be at the beginning, get on the boat and, um, be one of the guys telling your neighbors like, man, I don't know why you don't have this thing. So yeah, let's do it. But I'm going to stop running your mouth, man. I thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Remember always be safe, always make it home the same way you left. And guys, Always set yourself apart. Do what the next guy's not doing. We just heard James and historian what he said. He's a technician. He does maintenance and he sells a gazillion dollars a year. Um, he just proved that doing what the next guy doesn't do makes you valuable, makes you different, makes you profitable. All right. I don't just say this to say it every week. It's not just a tagline. I'm saying it because I want you guys to fucking believe it. All right. But Alrighty, until next week, I will talk with you motherfuckers later. I love you. I appreciate you. And peace. Peace. Thanks for listening to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram or email us anytime at HVACUncensored at gmail.com. Now get back to work. Shut this down. The views and opinions shared on the HVAC Uncensored podcast may not necessarily be the views and opinions of our sponsors or guests.